Hey guys and welcome back to more time city of the damned. Let's do our uh, our usual of paying for the treatment and paying to upkeep our troops. Uh, let's head to the smuggler's den and send most of our junk to one of these guys. We actually have an awful lot of uh, of weight worth of wordstone just sitting. It's 119. Yep, send it off to them. Yeah, okay, multiple shipments, great. Uh, Warband management. Right. We just lost two of these guys. Uh, oops, <laughs> that was exactly what I didn't want to do there. Ah, uh, we'll be back in the next turn anyway. So, let us... You didn't get... Ah, oh, you didn't. Bugger. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit next day anyway. Confirm. New hired swords are available. Oh, nice. Uh, shipment request to Brandenburg has been received. Shipment request to Baron von Leitdorfer has been received. We've got two and a half grand. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Right, time to swap out some of these. Okay. I kind of want Will back into the into play. I like having Thor and actually no, let's take Thor out of the out of the game, I suppose. Cause Will needs another intelligent point uh, intelligence point. Doesn't have any, does he? No, he needs Is it one more intelligence point he needs? Ooh, two more intelligence points he needs to get Lad's Got Talent. Cause that's the that's the best skill for him. So I need to make sure that any mental goes into intelligence. Okay. And we need more henchmen because they're all dead. We're all under the weather. Actually, to be fair, all we need to do is skip another another day and we should be good. Opti, can I get you another point in Web of Steel? I can. It's going to take five days, so I suggest that we just take this time to get some training done. Can't get him. I can't give him Lads Got Talent. Because, yeah, unfortunately it's going to take 9 intelligence. He doesn't have enough skill points for that. So I'm probably just going to save up the skill points to get him Lads Got Talent too. So you're not going to get anything new. These guys all can't train at all. Chris, skills, armor proficient. I can't get that because you need 12 strength, which you don't actually have technically. Right, what have you got? You've got Shield Specialist. Uh, hmm. I feel like you might have been better with some more dodging skills. Let's see, what's... His Spear... Bypasses Dodge and Parry Chance. Right, is there anything else that I want to give him, really? Um, acrobatic when fleeing after successful dodge increases chance to hit by 15% for a counter attack performed in response. Reduces the cost of switch weapon. I don't really fancy any of them to be fair. Knowledge tactics would be alright. It's dodge and parry chance. Uh... Unfortunately, Thana has been one of those guys just kind of been a bit unfortunate in the uh, in that I didn't really know what I was doing when I started it. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Get yeah, quick incision. Uh, after dealing melee damage, the target gains a debuff that reduces melee resistance by 3% for a turn. Attacks bypass 5% of dodge and parry. I think I'll go for that and I'm going to try and stack up stuff like that on him. Alright, then we've got Paul, who... I don't know, I could level up his blinding light. Uh, we've no spell points. So, I should probably get the next level of arcane study done. Will, I want to get you lads got talent. 
And you've only got two skill points, so that's probably the best thing to do next. And David, what can I get you, mate? You've got Swift Counter, Flash Parry, and Shield Specialist. Um, I could get him Armor Proficient. So it's either Armor Proficient or Shove Knowledge Tactics on him. Which is Dodge and Parry by another 5%. Which will make him up to 89% Parry. I think I'm going to do that. Instead of getting him uh, Heavier Armor. Alright, let's pop your Toughness, Agility, and Accuracy. Fly changes, confirm. Alright, so let's uh, accuracy on you. Nothing on you. Accuracy on you. I want to make Thana um, do more and more damage based. Uh, more and more like crit type things because he gets a lot of hits. So bumping up crit chance is probably the best for him. Agility for you. You can get alertness and weapon skill. Yes, weapon skill because we don't need any more accuracy on him. Alright. So that should be us. Let's last out another day. Confirm. People have learned some skills. Stan has learned a weak spot. Uh. Two warriors are currently training. So Thana still got like Thana can learn the next level of weak spot. Uh, he can't because he's not got enough accuracy. Oh, he technically does, but he doesn't. Technically does, but technically doesn't. Uh, we engage two or more enemies, increase melee critical chance by five percent. Our ideal melee damage, melee critical hit chance increased by two percent, and it's stackable. That's the the next one that I want for him. So let's get that. Alright, and the rest of them are still training. Okay, let's put you guys into the fight, or into the fray. Skill for Susie, she's got shield, flash parry, and the next one is... Uh, not retaliation, anticipation, swift counter? No, what? Oh yeah, it was Swift Counter. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you Knowledge Tactics. There we go. You can get Knowledge Tactics as well. Oh no, you can't. Oh, you don't have three. You don't have three Intelligence. What the hell, mate? All right. Uh, I could give him three Intelligence, but yeah, I mean, an extra point in alertness isn't going to be a big deal. Yes. Apply the changes. And knowledge tactics. There we go. It's a one day train time. Alamo, you. Oh no, you do have a skill point. Hey, nice. Right, flash parry. There we go. And you don't have any skill points. Sweet. Next day. Three warriors are training. You've got a new a mission new request. Mission is available. Deadly. A young blood from a rival mercenary war band brings word to you that its former captain has gone mad, mutated by wordstone corruption. The madman has become increasingly vicious, perpetuating inhuman atrocities, including the execution of the deserter's own brother. The deserter seeks help destroying his old captain and securing his brother's belongings. He can seek you into the enemy encampment and offers all the treasure the mercenaries have found. More, he claims a captain found the fabled sword Griffin Brand in the ruins. A blade of great power and renown. There's also a huge wordstone shard that mutated a captain to capture. Well, if that mutated a captain, do I really want to be grabbing it? Doesn't seem uh, new hired intuitive. Are available. A new shipment has been requested. I've really been looking at the uh, the hired swords that we've had available. Well, we've got level four uh, champion here. I'm just gonna leave. We've got a, a level three champion with one arm. Jesus. Have you got any injuries? No. You do. 
What is left? My arm was dismembered in battle and so or so badly damaged that I had to be amputated. The warrior can no longer climb. Use two-handed weapons. However, this warrior gains a 20% dodge bonus due to his new balance. What? Or is it just because he's got 20% less of them to actually need to dodge? Got 14 days left. The two warriors are training. There we go, everyone's done. I've got 12 days for my shipment. Let's get going with it. Let's just go ahead and we'll do a... It's actually <laughs> mad by the more time, it's actually a normal because of our, uh, our things, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go and do that just now. Send out the scouts, I don't want a word stone rush. I prefer a mark to marked to kill. There we go. What is that? Poor and poor. That means that I can I can just be real quick Enemy and just try and destroy them. Into small patrols, possibly to try and slip past your own warband and escape with some word stone. Aware of these patrols, you quickly dispatch your own forces in small groups to intercept them and prevent any enemies from leaving the area without a fight. Why would we do that? Like, why wouldn't we just blob them? Because <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Uh, Alright, so it's uh, patrol versus patrol, so we're going to need to try and just fucking same as usual, just limit the losses, get the farthest people closer so that we can do as much as we can. Hopefully we don't end up with two archers side by side again, because that was woeful. Oh, what was it? No, the, the other one was we were scattered, but... Oh no, I think that was a different one. I was going to say the one with the two archers where Will ended up getting knocked out and Rasmus ended up dying. But, uh... No, it wasn't. It was, um... That was the sisters. I think that was... Scattered? Either that or that. No, I think that was patrols, actually. I think that was two patrols. I think they, they were patrolling, we were patrolling, but they had, like, three fucking groups right next to my two, uh, my two archers. Unfortunately. And then that's when Opti and Thana showed their, uh, showed their dedication to the cause and beat the fuck out of Four Sisters of Sigma. Well, say now, Opti beat the fuck out of Four Sisters of Sigma. Thana just kind of poked with his spear from the outskirts. A new round has started. Right, how are we looking? Right, we've got a group of three there, group of three over here, and look at that, my two archers. Uh, at least my two archers are with other people this time. Right, I think running up to around this area is probably the best for everyone. Alright, let's uh, charge Thana through this building. Right, that's our guys. Yep, Thana, you want to come? This way, buddy. That was a weird noise. We can apparently see someone. Okay. For some reason, they, uh, they're right behind us there. Just worries them. Right, it's Will's turn. Motherfucker. Didn't even see it. I was trying to look for a... a nice Overwatch location. Oh, okay. Oh, well, let's shoot him. Shoot him. Ingebert. Reload. Looks like an overwatch position might just be a central column here, the central plaza. Hmm. May end up just in a fight in here. Let's see if there's any nice places overwatch in this place. Maybe the second floor of there. Be up there. That's not that great. That place there, if I could get onto the third floor of that bit would be nice. But it all depends where it is. I kind of like being down and around the ground because it means that we can uh, reposition if needed. 
Oh, he got hit with that as well. well it looks like Thana's got to get engaged here. Hey, good job, Thana. Ah, and you missed. You scrub. Ouch. I don't know what Executioner does, but I've got to admit it didn't look, uh... It doesn't sound good, does it? There we go. Stabbed. What's this chance to hit? 79 there. I think this is a guy that was... Yeah, I was going to see the guy that was behind us all. <laughs> Fucking hell! What the fuck was that? Jesus. Zealous corruption. Right, let's lightning strike. Who are you even pointing at? I've got no idea who he's pointing at. Let's lightning strike this guy. A risk. <laughs> he's our hero. Oh, for fuck's sake. 85% you fuck it. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you running, Kelly? Nope. You've got to run... Sorry, you can take the numbing vapors, mate. It's fine. Ah! Oh, you failed, you scrub! What was that? 29% chance to hit that? Because you failed your fear test. What's even wrong with you, mate? Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Yeah, Paul's just that bit further away. Right, update, you're gonna try and run down this way and... Fuck, no I can't. Just too far away. Yeah, of course he succeeded, he's got a target of 100. That's where Opti, uh... That's what Opti wins. It's just the uh, the fact that he can't fail fears or all alones or anything like that. There we go. Fortunately, there's no parry, no anything like that with him. Which sucks a little bit, but hey ho, there you go. Right, we've pretty much managed to get everyone round, except the fucking archer who got his ass handed to him. Fuck's sake, we've got another guy here as well. Are we trying to bring everyone back to around this area? And David... There we go, and you succeeded nice. Alright. Two nice attacks. Unfortunately this guy's gonna live for another turn. But uh, Thana will get to, actually no, Thana will get to kill him before his, uh, his turn's back. I think this little dude gets the last turn. Uh, you might want to disengage and just fucking leg it mate. Just FYI. Alright, can I grab this movement token here? And... Right. Oh, I take it Chris can't disengage either. Oh well.
Can't believe he missed that first one. Does he have a strong attack? No, he doesn't. Play him. Hopefully this guy will come and attack Chris. This guy's a fucking nightmare. This guy needs an opt-in. <laughs> he needs a good opt-in. Oh great, the WAI has just a run him into a wall. Good job. Whatever Thonius is doing. He's not having fun. Oh great, that's who Thonius is. Thonius is one of them. Right, how is Resk's health? Actually not too bad, oh my god, that is not what I wanted! Uh... Three... No, I can't, I need to lightning strike him constantly. Let's use concentration. Lightning strike. Alright. Then... Another lightning strike. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> well, at least I hit him. And parry stance. I was going to say, Thanos just going to kill him. And what are you dropping? Anything nice, mate? Oh, that's Herrick. Ah. That's nice to know. Right now I'm more uh, I'm more updated. Objective worried. Completed. About the rest of the About attacking the rest of these guys. Not Squire's Cuss. Why would you do Squire's Cuss? There we go. You just want to poke him. There we go. I'm going to put Opti around the other side, and that means that that guy has got nowhere to go other than to attack Opti. Right, we're going to trust, just try and pull everyone back and round to this side. Oh, there's Ingerberts. Ingerbert! Nice, uh, nice one, mate. Ow. Looks like Paul's getting knocked the fuck out, Gijun. Yeah, Risk's gonna loot him. Fuck. Paul, you're just... No. You're just doing shit, mate. Did he just... hold up Opti there? That's fine. That's not too bad either. Yeah, his spear looks pretty cool. Ah. Uh, yep, yeah, there goes my archer. Whoa, that was lucky. He's still gonna get whacked and killed, but... No, apparently not. Ah, uh, get parried, son. Oh. Oh, no, because that would have counted as his fourth hit, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I don't know why I never got a chance there. Right, unfortunately, Calamal, you're gonna have to attack this fool. Oh, wow, you hit him. You hit him Andy Fielder's dodge, which is quite impressive. Opti, my man. Unfortunately, you're needed. Background and in here. You need to take this deck out. Alright, he can only do a parry, unfortunately, he won't get the uh, Web of Steel. Which is a shame, because we just trained it up more. He's yet to use it in this fight. He just half health that guy. That's insane. Uh, Will, I'm going to pull you around here, mate. And you're going to stand about here. You're gonna plink. Anyone you think you can kill? Probably this guy, actually. 
least then it'll mean that Opti's got a a better chance next turn of just knocking him out pretty quickly. End turn. Ruben's turn. Ah yes, you guys were both round here with uh, Anna. Oh, I seen charge there. There we go. It's Susie's turn. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, that was the edge of one of our movement ranges anyway. One of our movement tokens. Uh, and David, I'm going to get you to join in on this attack. Hopefully you can knock this guy out this turn. There we go. Loot, and there we go, we can get all of Paul's stuff back. Right, the next guy is Engebert that we need to take out. Which, uh, I'm going to stand here in parry stance. We should be able to take out this, this wee ma magician here pretty easily. Fuck you! You son of a bitch! Ah, oh, you're gonna go to attack Than, isn't it? No, no, apparently not. Magalan. There we go, and. Oh no, man, just. It uh, just doesn't seem. Doesn't seem intuitive to have him with a halberd still. Seems like a waste. Luckily, they've fucking lost that a one character there. Has I can't believe that I've had two people knock the fuck out. That's just crazy. Crazy talk. I don't know what Chains of Chaos just did to him, but I'm not very. Okay, that was weird. It was weird in that the animations were strange. Like they went a bit funky. Banner's turn. Let's take out my gran because you can. There we are. And let's take out this guy. Stabby, stabby. There we go. I know I'm going for dodges with Anna, but I feel like I should just be going like I don't know. That's the thing. I was like, I was going to say I feel like I should just be going Web of Steel with everyone because it's awesome. But uh, yeah, people like this guy who use bracers, you can't uh, you can't parry them. So I'm going Web of Steel is a bad idea, and you're better dodging. So unfortunately he stole my loot, the twat. <laughs> get parried. Mm, and you missed. And you missed. Which is a shame because I didn't get to parry him and kill him. Hey, Calamel, nice job. Okay, the guy dodged with a 42. Yeah. I'm parry stance. Will's turn. Aim shot this guy, you probably kill him. No? Uh, you'll kill him in the next turn anyway, on the next uh, shot. Wow, okay. You rolled a 98 on a 97. Shouldn't have risked it, should have just aim shot. There we go. Extend your turn. I'll get you. Ah, I saw the luck. Gelmir. Gelmir doesn't have the thing that I need. Uh, let's go and grab a hold of you. How's it going, sir? Are you alright? 
You know what time it is? <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> yes. God, Opti, you're just beating the shit out of this guy. Web of Steel. Ruben's turn. Wait, right, who's the guy that we still need to kill? Obviously not him. Ah, it's this guy here. Ingebert. There we go. Tonius is their leader. Bonk. We've got Susie here. Bonk. <laughs> he may be the leader, but he's surrounded by... Okay, not the best of my men, I agree, but... Uh, he's still surrounded by a lot of men. There we go. I think all four of these has got the, uh, the attack power of Opti. Which is uh, kind of sad when you think about it. Oh, I just ate some mandrake fruit. Interesting. Get parried. I'm counter attacked. Oh, up day. <sighs> Success. We need to kill Ingebert here. I'm actually just going to get Opti to leave him alone. Uh, parry stance. Not much point, but his dodge stance is zero, so. Such a shame. I hate it when that happens. A new round has started. Oh wow, he actually rolls all alones? That's interesting. Didn't realise that was a thing. Yeah, Kali Mal parried that, by the way. <laughs> Do I hit the other parry while you're here, mate? Oh no, that's Susie. Well, he's probably dead this turn. Fucking Thana, stop feeling your fear. Your fear. Alright. It just makes this to hit a lot less. So it's to hit's only 61% here. Which is lame. There we go. Maybe we'll roll, uh... Mm, I'm going to use dodge. Maybe we'll roll Opti round to kill him and take his uh, his trinket. Which would be the best bet, to be fair. Ah, get dodged, you douche. That one hit. It was rather sore. Nice misses. He went into parry stance. I'm gonna go get Kalamal to... Well, he got rid of his dodge anyway, even though he... He still managed to hit him, which was impressive. Right, I can disengage from this guy. Oh no, I can't, because it's fucking Opti. He's got, like, no health left. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delay with Opti here. Yep, I'm going to use Will to kill that guy. Parry stands. Okay. Well, shoot. Over here. Shoot Timmy on. There we go. And uh, let's come back to your spot actually. Reload. Aim shot on Ingebert. Reload. And then just regular shoot him. There we go. Susie's turn. Knock him the fuck out. And pick up Paul's stuff. 
Don't know we already got Paul's stuff. Ah. At least we got some more stuff in that then. Right, let's uh let's make that movement a bit neater, shall we? And hopefully I'll be able to there we go. Oh, he didn't really have anything. He did have that hunting rifle though. So I'll gladly take that. Then Opti! The entire reason that I delayed you that last one. Hey, and he succeeded his fear test, which is good. You shouldn't be missing though, fuck's sake. Oh, that now he dodges. He rolls a 24% dodge as well. Game, what the fuck? What the absolute fuck? Oh yeah, he hits the last turn. See if they, like... If they route now, there's nothing I could have done. Like, literally fucking nothing. Hit charge this guy. Oh, he parried. Lame. Not like he could do anything with the parry, but he still parried, I suppose. Oh, thank god that Chris got a turn. There we go. Really? Fucking really? Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Ah, oh, man. We actually lost two people there. That should have been a stomping. The field of battle is a great feeling. It is even better oh, when you're getting paid for it. Confident. What a pain in the ass, man. That is not what I wanted at all. Achievement unlocked first of many and follow the leader. Have one leader reached rank 10 and what was first of many? I'm on the, the Steam Overlay right now, by the way. Uh, first of many is one henchman re reach rank 10. Remarkable. Hey, you got six skill points and a physical advancement. Oh, does that mean he won't be able to get his, uh, all his mental advancements? Nice job, Paul. All right. Ribbon and Calamau. Full recovery on Zello as well. Jesus. I'm doing all right. Items. Pretty, pretty swish. We got one cluster. That's probably all the clusters that was there. And some uh, some other pretty good stuff. But that's going to have to do us for this episode. So, do remember if you've enjoyed the episode to drop a like down below. And if you want to see more, then subscribe to the channel. But as always, I've been Steve. You've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.